Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Switch here with another 2DR video and in today's video is going to be one more time the Whirlwind Barbarian so uh, without no further ado, just a quick peek of the skills itself we're just going to play with the Polar Arm Mastery because we are wearing the Polar Arm so yeah, that's the reason why and we want to increase stamina, I want to uh, Iron Skin uh, probably I dump a little bit more than that, actually three more uh, natural resistance, I put everything into the increased speed just simply because if we are boosting out our shouts there is not really significant impact of this one. I mean you can do but I already tested like I just dumped 20 skills into that and there is no really much of a difference so I split evenly in between so I put 3 into the iron skin and the 3 into the shout. Obviously the battle orders in order to max out our life and mana then once you into the, the battle command just simply to boost one level of each levels we are using in our barbarian then the max into the wheel wheel and the one to berserker just in order to be able attack by uh, the magic to you know kill those physical emus uh, stat wise we are going like a base value of the strength 86 uh, and dexterity none and the rest into the vitality so we have like huge amount of life and the items wise as usual as usual as always so just gonna really do a quick peek so we have the red face we have the high lord we have the fortitude we have the string of the ears uh we have the lion of hands we have the raven frost go riders and then some rare ring which are giving me to 20 strength and four mana leech so yeah basically just to have boost to the strength so we can can dump this to the vitality yeah that's pretty much that's it obviously you can get better than this one uh, but this is still all right and the reason why i swap into the polar arm will win barbarian is the breath of the dying itself unfortunately the roll is not crazy because it's just 369 and we can roll from 350 to 400 so i was hoping obviously for the more but there's the another chance because today i dropped the another zod rune so I'm going to roll another Breath of the Dying. Obviously I'm just gonna keep this one for the Druid and I will roll another Polar Arm. Um, great Polax, so basically the same Polar Arm. And then maybe we are going to be a little bit more lucky than that because the DPS is not really quiet, you know. That's what I'm looking forward to anyway. So the Vex Hell Al Al the Zod F Breath of the Dying basically giving us the 50% uh, chance to cast the level 20 poison nova when you kill the an enemy. So this is just basically that's do like nothing. So <laughs> just saying. Indestructible because it's the Zod. Uh, 6 increase, attack speed 369, enhanced damage which already set, minus 25% target defense 50 to attack rating 20, 100 to deem, uh, excuse me, to undead, damage to undead, so that's kind of crappy one because we are going to do the chaos runs in a minute, so that's not going to ask any value. And then we have the plus 52 attack rating against undead, same crap. 7% uh, mana stone per hit, that's always like that, and we can roll between 12 to 15 life stone per hit, so we actually roll the max which is great, but still, this is not the enhanced damage we feel looking forward in the first place. Prevent monster to heal, uh, plus 32 all attributes, plus 1 to lighting radius requirements, minus 20%, yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, so, that's it for now. We're just gonna crack on with the gameplay itself, because there is nothing really to talk about it. We just wanna smash with this build, or uh, we wield, actually. So, see how it goes. Maybe we're just gonna drop some Jarum, which I haven't drop for the last 930 games of the car runs because I almost finished in the run um, so yeah that's crazy amount and we still didn't drop the jar room I dropped the bear I dropped the lots of rooms like double of the sewer ghoul vex you know east and some crap but for the last 400 games I didn't drop anything like well the zod room but the zod, zod is still like anything right it's like well I mean nothing <laughs> Yeah, so this is like nothing compared to 400 games. It's like nothing. Okay, so I don't really try to clear everything here. There's like no point. I just wanna keep this video short, to be honest. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna jump. And I don't really care. I'm just gonna kill the diabol. But what can I say? The build is actually really amazing. Uh, I think it's much more fun than. Um, welding the swords but still uh, if you like the swords 
the last one I've done with the death is not bad, but I think this one is uh, a little bit more powerful, I guess. Just looking by the damage output, or maybe, you know what? The reason why is probably because you're getting more damage from the pride. Well, yeah, that's it. Didn't t took that to the uh, equation. The last we win Barbarian didn't have the pride, so um, yeah, that's the reason why it's smoother a little bit. Actually, it's really smooth to be honest, which is great. Um, but the next build is going to be the same build as was before, which is going to be the Frenzy, but with the Grief and the Death. So stay tuned for that if you want to see the more of the Barbarian builds. Um, it was already, but the last Frenzy barb I used the Grief and the Lightning Saber. So I'm not saying like the Lightning sa Saber is bad, um, it's really great, but um, this version is going to be much powerful. Obviously, with the grief and the death. Um, so yeah, if you wanna take a look, there will be some on the channel as well. And well, what can I say more? I don't know. <laughs> Usually, I'm like really too cutting press on today. I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to say. Just enjoy the ride. I can say. Breath of the Dying is a really amazing weapon and I'm going to use for the Druid as well at some point. I mean, actually I have everything for the Druid, but the thing is, oh, my mercenary died. My mercenary died! How come? Um, yeah, actually I have every item for the Druid already, but the thing is, like, I just kind of really don't want to the, um, level up where I want. I know, I know. I don't really want to level up the any more characters. I already have like seven full builds, fully geared, and fully level up. So uh, kind of a little bit not into that part of playing the game. Like again, doing another character. But at some point, yeah, the druid because I have everything for the druid right now. You know, like a forty and breath of the dying and you know high lords and stuff, go riders. Basically, I just need to swap everything from this Barbarian, put the Jalaya, and that's how it looks like the Druid. With the Breath of the Dying, Fury Druid. It's an amazing build, really cheap, because this round world is just like one high run, right? Uh, we're talking about the, uh, well, um, Zod and Vex, and base. Base is about the goal run, I guess. So, really cheap and easy to get. That's it. Obviously, I'm missing probably. No, it's okay. Yay, Diablo, come on. One hit, two. Oh, he's going to kill us. Five hits, Jesus. That was a tough one. Yeah, Vorax. Rex card, do I have it on my Holy Grail? That's that's the question. Probably I have it. Okay, thank you very much guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care and bye for now. And if you wanna stay tuned for the um, if you wanna see the Fury, excuse me, Frenzy Barbarian is going to be with the death and with the grief. So I can sh show you the death, I guess. I'm not lying. It's going to be with the death, the best roll. You can possibly get because it's 385 enhanced damage and you can roll from 300 to 395. Alrighty, thank you very much guys for watching. One more time, see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye for now.